Hey guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit video for you. Uh, I think what we're going to try and do is just get rid of the clock with a five minute countdown and I'll just try and be as quick as possible. But today we're going to be taking a look at the new Zalman Reservator 3 Max. Uh, and they're saying it's the ultimate liquid CPU cooler. Um, now I'm already a little bit kind of um and ahhing about this as far as like testing is concerned, but I'll show you when we get inside. Now, just to run you through some points that they say on the back, they say uh, it can cool up to 400 watts, ultra silent, power, powerful cooling, dual radiator designed to maximize airflow structure, although you want to see the radiator, you might, because it's not what you're going to be expecting. Dual path radiator to optimize heat transfer and cooling performance, high performance built in water pump to make sure we have a maximum flow rate, but anyway, high performance thermal grease that it's got coming with it, but we won't use that when we do the testing on the other channel. World's first nanofluids applied cooler, so the liquid that's in it is nanofluids, they're saying. 120 millimeter fan, um, extra fan is available for overclockers, so you can run a second fan, but obviously running more fans means more noise. Black pearl nickel plated to enhance corrosion resistance. I've never known bits inside my PC to go rusty, but anyway. And then blue LED cooling fan. But if we have a look on this bit, you can see that the LEDs in the fan's blue, but then the pumpy bit lights up blue as well. So what we're gonna do is just get it open. Now, when we look inside the box, we can see all the mounts and everything here and the back plates and everything that you're gonna to need to be able to mount it to your specific socket. I can see straight away that we've got a back plate, uh, the Intel uh, mount, then we've got a uh, AMD mount, and then lots of screws and stuff underneath. So that's all your fittings in that bit. And then this is the actual cooler itself. Now, normally with stuff like this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, do like an unboxing for but with this it's actually very strange because as you can see this the only way I can explain this is it this bit looks like an Intel um, uh, cooler like almost like an Intel max cooler uh, standard cooler sorry where we'd expect like copper bits down at the bottom here and this would be what mounted onto the CPU but this isn't isn't this actually goes in the back of your case and this is the water cooling uh, pumpy bit here uh, it feels very much like an Acetec unit, to be fair. Just the way this is. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying it feels and looks like an Acetec unit. But the thing is, is what happens is the, the cooling goes in. And if we have a look around the outside, I'm trying to get this so I can show you to see. If you see these um, pipes here, what we'd expect to be heat pipes, that's actually where the fluid goes. And what happens is it goes round once around the CPU and then up in this corner, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to show you. Can you see that bit there? Well, essentially, it then goes back round again. So it goes round once and then round and down, and it does loop round twice. See, you can see that bit there. You can see it goes round, and then it will go back round again. So it goes in one side, loops round twice, and then comes back out the other side. So it goes in, in one side, round, loops around, comes back round, and then goes back out. It does go back out the other side. Um, so it's a very interesting design. I'm just trying to, there you go. You can see the, um, all the pipes and everything just over here. So it is a very interesting and unique design that we are, uh, rather than having what we would call a normal radiator that bolts in the back, you've got essentially what I'm gonna call like an open radiator and uh, you've obviously got what we would expect to be heat pipes but those heat pipes then have coolant pump around them now I, I, I've got to admit I'm a bit skeptical about how this is going to perform but for all of those of you out there make sure you look on the uh, main OC3D channel uh, in a week or so and we'll probably have this tested and all the results done but this is just you know for a chance for me to show you something that's slightly unique uh, and it, it's because of the uniqueness that caught my eye and I agreed to have a look at it and test it. So I thought I'd share it with you here first on the Rush Kit channel so we can see what it looks like and how it all goes and everything. Obviously the fan's going to light up blue uh, and then this ring around here and down the bottom that's going to light up blue inside your case as well so it's, it's going to be something for those of you out there that are going to uh, blue is going to work in your rig because the colours aren't interchangeable. We can see here that we've got this is the uh, uh, the fan connector for the pump. 
But one thing I would say, and one thing I've always said with these, is I wouldn't connect this to your motherboard. Some, they say that you can, but it's just not something that I would ever do. I would hang this down the back of your case and either connect this via a, a Molex, and if it's making the pumps making a bit too much noise, I would just use a fan speed connector in it. But I normally run my fans at 12 volts anyway. Well, unless they're crappy Cooler Master ones that just make too much noise. And then this has does have its fan connector in the back. Uh, with these, again, you can, with the, the main fan, you can connect it to your motherboard, but it is worth remembering that your motherboard won't always run it at 12 volts. If you want the speed to vary, then that's, you know, gonna work for you okay. Um, but generally, I also, I normally set my fan speed up, so I'm happy with it as a, a standard speed. And then uh, I just run it like that, and I have done with Orca, do it with my H100Is, all that kind of stuff. But it's up to you. If you want to connect it to your motherboard, you can do. Just have a play with it, really. But yeah, that is it. So this is uh, just our first look. I will do the full review and everything on uh, the main Time to Live Custom Stroke OC3D TV channel. But this is just our first look. So for now, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with the first Rush Kit video in such a long time. Out.